dangerous chemical uh, discovered in your drinking water, and now local water officials are working to clean up the problem. Eyewitness News reporter Katia Hall tells us if your water is safe to drink. And so here's the vessels, and they're being installed right now. And uh, this is what they look like. From the outside, they don't look like much. But on the inside, there's a lot going on. It's a, basically an empty shell, inside, and inside that shell is filled um, about two-thirds full with granular activated carbon. The water is going to go in through the top of these vessels, and it trickles down into the carbon, and the carbon is doing its job. It's getting rid of all the, the TCP. It's sticking to the carbon. And then all the clean car, uh, TCP-free water comes through the bottom of the vessel. Both the city of Bakersfield and Cal Water are using these new filtration devices to remove a dangerous chemical known as 123 TCP, a soil fumigant used in the 60s and 70s by Dow Chemical and Shell. It found its way into our drinking water. The state determined this is can be carcinogenic at certain levels. They determined that anything above five parts per trillion needs to be removed from the water system. Over 35 wells in the city of Bakersfield are infected with 123 TCP, and these tanks are key to its removal. It's um, actually um, one of the best um, treatment methods uh, that we know um, to remove the TCP. The city's filtration tanks are not yet up and running, but will be within the next several months. We have a plan to make sure that our existing clean wells, as well as our surface water treatment plants, are delivering clean water um, to people currently as our other wells are offline and are being retrofitted with this uh, filter process. While the city continues to work on those tanks, Cal Water is dealing with 23 infected wells but have 11 filtration tanks ready to go and this is one of them. We've had a very short timeline to put in uh, treatment at our 24 sites for Bakersfield and uh, I'm happy to say that this vessel behind us right now is in service. It's working. It's producing TCP-free water for our customers. To make sure, we wanted to test it. That's where Jeff comes in. He helps check the water every day. We take these samples uh, every day. We put them in an ice chest like the one I'm holding, and uh, we'll have 50 to 100 of these sample uh, uh, sample kits that we send to our laboratory in San Jose. After complete testing is done, many months of work, and millions of dollars later, you get this. Clean water, safe to drink. Reporting in Bakersfield, Katya Hall, Eyewitness News.